Today we're taking a look at the finals and just exactly what is this game. But before we do that, we're going to take a quick peek at the gameplay trailer. In the finals, if you can see it, our contestants can probably destroy it. The arena has loaded. Here we go! So after about three days of playing uh, this close playtest so far, um, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Now there are going to be some things that I'm not going to be able to fully discuss, and I'm certainly not going to be able to share you, with you any gameplay video yet because of an NDA that every, everyone who's playing this had to agree to, which is understandable considering at what point this game is in development. So. Um, we're not going to be seeing stuff like that today, but I can at least talk to you a little bit about the experience so far, which has been very fun, uh, definitely unique, certainly has room to improve in a lot of areas, but the areas that it needs to fix, I think, are ones that are fairly easy to fix or seem like they would be. Um, one thing the game has been, you know, advertising as the, one of the biggest draws for it is that it, the destruction in this game is like nothing you've ever seen. I can confirm that that is very much true, and even though uh, some of you might be familiar with games like Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, and Battlefield 1, where the destruction was a huge part of the game, it, it doesn't even compare uh, to, to what this is, is trying to do and is achieving, um, as you will be able to see in the, in the background video going on, the one that we watched just a little bit earlier as well. Um, the studio is Embark Studios, um, run by former DICE and EA CEO Patrick Soderlund, who was at the helm during a lot of um, some of our favorite BF titles over the last 10 to 15 years, 3, 4, uh, 1, uh, things like that. So they've also got a lot of former Battlefield devs, and you can certainly see the influence in the design and uh, character modeling and things like that. Maybe not necessarily character modeling on the outside, but certainly from your perspective, your own character, the way it reloads guns, the animations, things like that. Um, obviously the destruction itself is familiar, but like I said, it is totally different and very unique from anything you've ever seen. The amount and the sheer control of it is just, it's kind of unbelievable. Um, now on the surface, obviously a an arena shooter doesn't sound all that different, but it, it does a lot of different things, and obviously the destruction being one of them, but also just the play style is different because it's teams of three as opposed to four or two. It's only teams of three at the moment, uh, four teams of three, so 12 players total on a relatively small map, but not a tiny map by any means. Um, the one we're playing on is, uh, is like a Monaco-themed downtown area. Um, You've got special abilities or gadgets that you can equip, but they're not specific to any one character. They can be equipped to any character. So essentially you can style your gameplay exactly how you want to, regardless of what size character you pick. There are three models, essentially small, medium, large, that come with different speed and health, armor settings, things like that. But uh, the actual weapons that you will choose and the gadgets that you will use are all dependent upon of the player using them and what they would prefer to use. Renovations going on for the next just a few more weeks. We're almost done. It's been like a month and a half straight of this, and uh, I, I can't do much about it. But it's going to be great because the whole house is going to be done anyways. So um, if you're interested in, in trying out this uh, playtest, I'm going to leave some info in the description below. I'm not, I can't guarantee that you're going to be able to get in because it's been going on for a little while now and they might have enough people for it, but it's worth a try in it, uh, if it's something that you're interested in doing. And I, I do think this will be a very fun game um, if you can get people to play together, obviously. I don't know how random matchmaking... You know, random matchmaking is fine in any game, I guess, but 
this game will be particularly fun if you've got three people with you that you know, or two people with you that you know. Um, it, it's, it's got a lot of good things going on. Also, that Embark Studio is also working on another game you may have heard of called Arc Raiders, which looks very cool. I would highly suggest going uh, into the internet, uh, the interwebs, and finding a video on that. There's a little bit of gameplay out there uh, from the studio. Um, there's not much going on, but it, it looks very interesting. And that was the first thing we had heard of from the studio was that game coming out um, at some point. So check that one out. Listen, guys, if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, uh, please maybe drop a like, maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And click that bell notification so you don't miss any new content coming out. I appreciate uh, your support. Uh, thank you for coming, and uh, have a great week.